Good luck. Yeah, good, good. Thanks. <laughs> I'll need it. Who's ahead? Yeah. I think Benny's ahead. Benny cheated. He's no. two frames ahead. My amazing LCD. Well, what? You jump first? Yeah. yeah. Standard. I think my commentary would be really good for <laughs> So, yeah. By like jumping at the start of every cup, since you start in the back, you can bounce over all the butts and it's a little bit faster. Um, I'm ahead. It's happening. I think you're gonna be ahead by. So yeah, for those who just tuned in, welcome to DreamHack speedrun. Um, I guess no one's really made like an announcement on stream yet or anything about us going live, but yeah, we're here. Again, with speedrunning for... Is this the fourth time now, Noisy? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think it's the fourth time we're returning at DreamHack. And we've got a cool schedule for this. Yet another, like, event. I think this time around we won't be running all night, though. So people can actually cut, catch some sleep. But we're starting off with this cheeky little <laughs> Mario Kart 64 no-skips race. Between me, Flippy O, and Binny. Yeah. And um, just for reference, Binny's playing Peach and I'm playing Yoshi, so you can tell the difference like no easily. Difference, uh, they can also wise. tell on stream, but yeah. I don't think there's any difference speed-wise though, right? No, the characters have the exact same speed. Also Toad, but no one likes Toad. Um, the, di the only difference between the characters is really in the skips category due to their weight. So there's no, no like real difference it's necessary to, uh, to explain. Pick the Yoshi for. All cups, no skips. Yeah, it's faster to pick the character in like resets. Yeah. I got a 137. That's pretty really, pretty really good. So good start for me. Not bad. That, that's okay. For it's me. okay. I don't really like 33 much, laps so. is fine. Vinny, can you please bring back Chibi Yeah. Is it back? It's no, Franger Face C. Too, no, but I mean like the sub. Man. I can't. I told you just there. Can't Why? Because you have to be at the goal. I'm like slightly under right can now. You bring it back? No. <laughs> It's already Batman. Also, we're playing on the Japanese version because in no skips, there's less lag on Koopa Troopa Beach, which is the only difference for this category. So you save about a second. It's very minor and you don't need to play on it, but I mean, Japanese version is a lot cheaper too. Yeah, that, that's, that's the main reason for playing Japanese on SM64 and Mario Kart 64. Right? It's cheaper to buy, so it's usually about half price on average, I think. So. That's been the case for me both yeah. times. Anyway. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> We're good. This is so bad driving. So you mainly run skips in this right flipping. Uh, uh, what did you say? I said you mainly run skips. Uh, yeah. Like, when I do actual runs, it's usually skips. This category is, like, really fun to race and fun to do at marathons, but it can be boring to grind out runs because you just have to pray for luck to get a really good run sometimes. But um, it's a fun category still. It's good for beginners. This driving. Uh... Also, the um, gophers in this stage, whether they pub up or not, is completely RNG. So sometimes when you hit a hole, you can get lucky and not get hit by them, or you can't get hit. It, it all depends. And uh, in between every single stage, we hold in the start button, or any button really, may, like. Makes Either A, B, or start, yeah. It, it counts the points immediately, like frame perfect, and then you just mash to go to the next menu on the counting screen. It actually saves literally a whole second over just mashing every single time, so 12 seconds in the entire run. That's a lot. Oh, uh oh. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna miss all the jumps, man. Yeah, I'm not. I, I miss these I, all the time. Well, I can miss them. They're still annoying to do, even if you're good at them, but it's only, uh, like, if you miss the jump and you just. Quickly recover, it's only like seven seconds. Seven seconds right, yeah. I got the first one. And I try as much as possible to do optimal shroom spots. Oh yeah, so I guess this is also a good time to delve into what is a skip and what is not a skip. Since jumping through that is like, hey, aren't you skipping part of the track? But skips don't refer to like necessarily cutting parts of the track. It refers to unintended ways of going over walls, etc. and warping in the game. So this jump is perfectly all right, and the glitch I used at the finish line is also all right because it's not any like it's technically not a glitchless category. You're just not allowed to, uh, for instance, jump on a wall over a wall. 
and use Locket 2 to warp you wrong in, in places. The only difference you'll see from um, like doing the completely normal trek as if you're playing it the first time in this run I I made that. and a no skips run is this jump here you might not do the first time you ever play it. And also one thing on, on um, Yoshi Valley you can do. I just clipped that green shell through the wall. <laughs> Pointless. It's actually bad. Yeah, that was bad. The bomb cost me some time. It's, besides that, was okay. Did you get the uh, jump all three times? Yeah, I got them all. Nice. Go, Benny. Oh, don't mind. Why would you do that? Oh, Why no. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm racing you. I have to jinx you. It's part of the plan. Let, let's be honest. You don't have to. <laughs> Oh, there's like a cable in the way. So for um, the All Cups run of Mario Kart 64, since there's no like um, campaign around it, I guess you could say, the way we um, go to the next cup is instead of watching the like two and a half minutes trophy ceremony or however long it is, we just reset the console upon um, crossing the finish line on the third lap in every cup. This is also the reason why actually VC is slower for this game, Virtual Console, than Emulator. But we're both playing on N64, so... Also, I got some good RNG. Mushrooms are a 1 in 10 chance in this game. And the only good like reason why it's really good in this specific level is because there are cycles anyways. Like here, I have to go really far around to make sure that I don't just like run into the train. And it's actually faster to go across this part here as well, right? You know, it looks slower. Yeah, yeah, like driving around here, How just because of the curve safe? of the turn to the like the actual road, it's faster to drive close to the wall and just keep doing mini turbos. It's actually a neat little thing, because you still have to do it well to save time on it. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm fast enough here to skip past the train on the second lap. No, can, but that can I be, got, but you got the boo, yeah, yeah, yeah so if, boo, if everything so goes bad, you can always use that. Fortunate. But yeah, that's the reason why the mushroom is good on this level specifically. There's actually a strat where you can go in between the train, but I believe it's a frame perfect trick. Oh, and if you fuck it up, God. you get hit a bunch of times by the train and you lose that a lot of time. So. Oh yeah, mess it up. Probably so. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Noisy. It's a family show, you can't swear. It's mess a swear word? No. Oh. That's why I said like, oh sorry, you messed it up instead of the other word. I don't so, know why I have picked Peach right now. Here Always we reset at the end. The N64 is really far away from me, that actually hurt. <laughs> I got another one, but it's kind of worthless at this point. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. Slowly. No cartridge tilt. I just pray I don't get <laughs> worse than fourth place in any of the races. I don't feel like DNFing. Yeah. Oh my god. Also, um. The reason why we drive zoomed out is because it actually reduces lag. There's not that many stages where lag actually matters, but Koopa True, not Koopa True, the beach, Kalimari Desert, the one we were just on, and uh, Bowser's Castle, DK's Jungle Parkway, and Yoshi Valley are stages that lag a lot. And I, for, I still don't understand why, but when you zoom out in the game, the further you zoom out, the more lag it reduces if there is lag. I guess. The models are smaller or something, so they actually like have less quality. I don't know. I'm not sure why. But that's why we're driving zoomed out most of the time. I just prefer driving with it in general too. Some people only drive with it zoomed out on certain like levels. But that's also why you'll see um, usually if I don't get like a mushroom first try on Koopa, uh, Kalimari Desert, I will um, be trying to get a banana so that I can reduce lag even further with what we call the super zoom out where you hold the banana behind you, because it also pans the camera a little bit further out. So on top of the zoom out, you like get more zoom out. Ah, bad like if you don't hit anything on this stage, you're fine. Yeah, as long as you don't hit a car. If you hit something, it all goes... It's very hard to judge where everything is going to be at that point. Cycles can be annoying on this stage, especially... Uh, there's like, if you hit a car, you can mess up the cycles, and also if you're driving really, really fast, sometimes like two cars will be right next to each other, oh, no. <laughs> and it's really slow to go around them, so you just have to go in between, and that's super tight. But I usually do that when I have a good run anyways, so... Yeah, there is one tough part on lap two for me, like right start at the start-finish line, there is like... Um, 
I think there's a car and a truck that you've got to go through the middle of. Yeah. Uh, probably not for you because you're like faster. But... Yeah, I, I made it like a good cycle. Also, something um, like we call it a mini turbo whenever you get the orange smoke and you release it. But there's also a thing called straight stretch mini turbos, which Benny doesn't really do much of. I'm not sure if he does it on this stage. But basically, it's doing it on a straight path instead of just driving directly straight. It's actually faster, but you have to do it like really well in order for it to be worth it. Oh, but no. it can also save a lot of time in the entire run for that. I mean, you're not that far behind right now, actually. Yeah, I, I hit a truck, actually, at the start of finish line that I just talked oh, yeah. about. Yeah, if yeah. not for the Koopa Trooper Beach, you would have been pretty close right now. Yeah, I lost like 14 seconds there, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so Lightning loses just about 4 seconds. I hope that he doesn't bump into Bowser, that would lose even more. Yeah, because it'll squash me right um, now. Certain areas it can lose you more time, but the general estimate is like 4 seconds. If you're just driving straight and you get hit by one. Oh no. Because oh, no. the speed you lose from the spin out, etc. is just, just about 4 seconds. Those... It might be a little bit less if you drive perfectly, but it can also be a little bit more. Dude. It's really bad to get hit by a lightning, specifically in DKJP, Jungle Parkway. Sometimes you can get unlucky and like you will just go onto the grass and the, co the coconut will hit you and you'll get squished really quickly. This stage is actually, I think if I remember correctly, I an optimal that. is 19 frames. Where it's, uh, I think it's 14 frames. You hold new, uh, to the opposite direction of your slide. Basically how a uh, mini turbo works is you hold the analog stick in the opposite direction of the way you're sliding. And um, after a while when you switch the, like flick the control switch, the stick back, the smoke will turn to yellow. And I think that's 14 frames you need to do it for the first time. And then one frame back. And then hold it four frames again and then back. So I forgot I was on third lap so I didn't use my <laughs> mushroom, but whatever. Mushrooms don't actually save that much time unless you have very specific ways to use them. So, cutting certain grass areas, etc., can save you maybe up to a second. Yeah, like that calamari desert was a good example. Yeah, but this now, stage, but... Um, like the way the place I got it, which was right at the end, it might only have saved me like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds, depending on how well I'd used it. So it's pretty. Uh, it's not insignificant, but it's it doesn't really make a huge difference in the run itself. It's more about your driving than the mushrooms and items. Which is also why people often say that, well, Mario Kart, like, doesn't RNG play a huge role? And it doesn't, it, well, in some places it can technically really mess you up. But in general, in this game specifically, I know for some Mario Kart games, RNG is really bad. But Mario Kart 64 is pretty unique in the RNG. Uh, lightnings are really, really uncommon, and they only lose about four seconds, which, if you play well, you should still be able to get a good run with stuff like that. And, if someone's wondering at this point why no blue shells or red shells have been shot at us yet, it's because the bots in this game literally can't throw shells. They can randomize green shells and red shells, I think, not blue shells, but they can't throw them. So they're, if I ever get hit or Benny ever gets hit by a green shell, that's our own fault, basically. You have to get really unfortunate. Like you can yeah. throw it behind you on a, like you throw the green shells behind you, but then when you go around for the next lap, if it hasn't hit someone else, which it usually does, like that right there, that could hit me on the next lap technically if I'm unlucky. So yeah. Like I just pray usually that it hits an item or a butt behind yeah. me. Um, usually the optimal thing is to shoot the shell into the a wall on the side if you do a slide, because then it's gonna be a straight trajectory. So when you find it next time you can easily pass it, but on this stage the walls are kind of wonky and sometimes it doesn't shoot the shell pre back properly and it can mess you up. So I never knew that, like, um, find out how long does that... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> how much does that lose if you get um, hit by the boulder on this stage? How much time does it lose if you get hit by what? If you get squashed by the boulder, like, around these... Oh! Um, oh my god, there's that shell I was talking about earlier. I think getting squished by a boulder is about the same as getting hit by lightning. Four or five seconds. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I just got hit by it, that's why. Oh, okay. It's kind of yeah. hard to use a... a if you don't uh, do optimal gameplay, then cycles can be weird, really weird for those boulders sometimes. Even when I play well, sometimes I'll hit them by mistake. It yeah, can you, be annoying. You guys know if you fall down there, like, it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Falling down in water in all the stages besides the water levels is about an eight-second time loss. So that's a lot of time if you fall down. So... 
If you like have a star. Actually, as well. Yoshi's value too. That's like over 10 seconds lost because you have to fall for so long. If you get a star as well in this game and you like clip a corner and like flip your car over completely, yeah, it cancels it out, right? Yeah, if you did get what is called the tumble, basically when you hit like a wall and tumble on it when you have a star, it cancels the star immediately. Um, that, that is actually useful like Taz strat, but nothing <laughs> useful here. Okay. And if anyone is wondering how like stars work, you can't get them in first place in, at all. Uh, the only item that's good in first place you can get really is uh, the mushroom, which is 10% chance. Stars in second place are 5% chance, and the way the stars work in this game is they literally just increase your speed by 1.5 times. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they also increase your speed on grass, that might be the case. I, it feels like it, but I'm not sure. It's definitely worth it driving on the grass usually, so I think so. Sorry about that. I bought my controller into the What mic. would you say is the easiest stage all cups no skips to DNF on? Um, oh. Like by accident at the end. Dude, that's menuing. <laughs> that was super slow. Whatever. Um, I'd say actually maybe Sherbet Land, because if you fall down at the third lap because you bump into a penguin, usually the butts are so close to you that they can actually maybe take you over. Okay. Uh, other than that, if you mess up or get bad RNG, uh, Banshee Boardwalk can be really annoying. Yeah, I would have thought that stage. A lot of new players have a huge, like, huge issue getting past Banshee Boardwalk. Um, and I think actually Yoshi's value too is hot for new players, but if you're okay at the game, like what Benny's playing now for sure is good enough to should never really lose enough time on Yoshi Valley for the bus to catch up. But it doesn't, it, it's not even necessarily how you drive, it's about like how the butts rubber band. Because depending on, like sometimes the rubber banding can break a little bit and the butts drive faster than they're meant to and it's kind of random how fast they drive in certain areas. Like, I used to have the world record in the skips category and I got second place in Moo Moo Farm with perfect driving. Is this the last course? Yes. It is right. Reset. That's how much I play this game, actually. <laughs> I don't even show it. So this is the second longest track in the game. Uh, this would be boring. It might be boring to watch, I can't say for sure. It depends on the viewer. But it's actually a really fun level to play yourself, because a lot of the small bumps and turns, etc., can actually make the gameplay feel very fluid. This also, I small, uh, just real quick, I do small jumps over the hills. Because then you don't have to jump, uh, I mean, drive as far up the hills. Driving uphill loses speed, obviously, and downhill increases speed. Yeah, this is um, like the famous stage, right, for skips that everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really annoying in skips. Because yeah. one of the tricks is like frame perfect, and sometimes, depending on your speed, can be impossible. But it's a cool stage in skips. People will enjoy watching it because it's like, whoa, you just jumped the wall twice, and there you go, that's a lap. And jumping in this game is faster for turning, which is why around corners like this I'll usually jump instead of sliding. Sliding also, like, it loses you more speed when you do it over a long period of time. The only reason why it's worth it is because of mini turbos you get out of it. Also, I know in, in like, DS and Double Dash, um, I'm pretty sure at least, that you just want to spam mini turbos as often as possible. But in this game you have to space out a mini turbo a little bit around, like, certain corners and straight stretches for it to be optimal because if you do a mini turbo straight after you do one like if you jump into a slide immediately you can actually lose some of the speed that you were used like we're gonna use the mini turbo to have so it's worth it to space it out a little bit it's something you get a feeling for over like a long period of playing this game it's actually very hard to get used to and how long have you been playing this game flipping um i started 2013 august during like attempts it's hard to say how much i actually played it because i had like a small break from it when I was learning Crash Team Racing and stuff. And I haven't played it much recently at all, like the past half year. But um, I'd say I played it for like a good year in like active playing. And, oh, um, I hit like a banana and cancelled out the spin earlier. If anyone's wondering how you do that, uh, you can do it in two ways. You can either uh, break, which is what I did. Um, that's like the safest method because you can press A earlier and go faster. Or you can just release every button, just release the A button. It, it's about a speed threshold, so if you go a certain like slow speed, then um, it will not actually like spin you out. Sometimes it just auto-spins you out, it depends on what slope and like if you're sliding, etc. 
But yeah. Oh, that's an okay Womp. Womp's. <laughs> Womp Stadium. More. Oreo Stadium. It's, got it's good Womp Super Mario 64 on the brain flipping. Yeah. I'm too used to Mario 64 at this point. That was a good Womp. Yeah, thanks. What well, laps did you get? Oh uh, 112, 112, 111. Golly, 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 golly. Yeah. 112. 111 is like really, really good. I think um, the current world record holder, Abney, he gets like 110 laps. Yeah. I, I think he can actually get 109 if he has decent RNG and plays really well. So, yeah, shout obviously out to a 112. Abney. Yeah, Abney shout out to insane. Abney 317. He has the world record in both categories and he's one of the best time trial players right now. He's been really climbing the ladder. Cool guy. He did a run at uh, the last GDQ, right? So. Yeah, run. SGDQ skips. Aw, oh, went too far around. That's fine. Oh yeah, I never really mentioned the boo. The boo's a 5% chance item in first place. And um, the way it works, some people think it steals items, but it doesn't do that in Grand Prix. It only does that in like 2 player, 3 player, 4 player, etc. Uh, in Grand Prix, it has a certain chance of giving no items. I think only in, if you're in first place, though. Um, and then it just works like a normal item box otherwise, so it just RNGs based on your position. Which is also why the finish line glitch I did in Koopa Troopa Beach can work. Where um, you're in eighth place for like a split second, and then you press the boo, like activated, to get an item in eighth place, basically. You can do it here, like on this stage two on the side, but that's a task strat. Pretty much. This Otherwise, really there's Koopa Troopa Beach and Royal Raceway are the two stages where these are like useful items, boosts. Obviously, besides already being useful for like going also, around enemies. Also, if you if you get lightning and hold lightning, does that mean that the the enemies can't can't do it right? Is oh, I right? randomized a boo with a boo. That's less than a five percent chance. Flippy. What? Is that right? If, if you get lightning and... If you get hit by lightning with the boo active, you don't get hit. Is that no, what you I'm mean? I'm just talking about separate. Like, if you actually just pick up lightning, like, right now in a box, does, does that mean that the CPU can't uh, get lightning too, right? Uh, the that, CPU can get a lightning. Even when you've got it? Whenever you've got a boo? When you've got lightning as well. If you've got a lightning and they... Can they pick one up? Is can that they what pick you're one up as well? Yeah, so they, they can, can. They can, okay. They ha oh. I got thought it depends on what that. spot you're in. Because I think the way the butts work is 8th place has a 1% chance from an item box of getting a lightning. So that's why you don't see many lightnings at all. Why you've only seen one on both screens so far, pretty much halfway into the run. Over halfway into the run. No one's really like completely figured it out though. No one's looked at all the codes and see how all the butts work constantly. But we just know the like the chances of them randomizing an item. Because as far as I understand, there are certain like pickup spots. They don't actually get items from the the like item boxes. They get them from just passing by a flag on the stage. Bad rhyming. Like, see, the butts are right behind me, even though I had like a really good lap. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either by any chance. Any means. Oh, I might DNF, DNF right now. Is this a stage you said you can DNF on real easy? If you fall down at the end, generally. <gasps> you should be good, because uh, the butts drive slower when you're behind. It's I only don't... really if you fall in the water near the finish line, then you're like screwed. This is like the optimal stream spot. I feel like I'm about to DNF right now and it's making me sad. Just make sure you don't fall in the water and you're good. I'm gonna hit a banana. Oh no! Come on, Vinny! No. Drive! No! You messed up the triple tether. It only loses like three minutes though. Three but minutes. It's, it's a lot. Like, yeah, it's so much time. Did you just race try or what? Yeah, you just get a you chance just to go again. If you uh, get 5th place on the first frame that the butt also finishes on, you can actually uh, continue with 5th place. But really? Yeah. But that didn't happen. I didn't... But yeah, Sherby Land can be annoying. If you hit like a penguin or something at the end, then you're... That's the first time I've ever DNF'd on this yeah. stage, actually. Obviously, if you... I mean, you're still somewhat new to the game in comparison to me, obviously. But I've been playing if you, probably like If you're as good months. as me, you should never really uh, have to retry a stage ever. But... <laughs> Chat. Is the left screen an actual yeah, it is. Am I on the left or right? You're on the right. Oh yeah. We're, well, we're on. We're opposite in actual, like sitting here, but.
Planks, can I... Which, uh, which user was that a uh, question from? I don't, I don't think he heard you. No, you might, you might have to ask him for me because I don't think my voice he is He asked coming. what user asked that question. Do you know when you All go right. around that corner there? At the yeah. very end, the very last one, is it quicker to go like that? That guy just did it like... The left is faster, left, but yeah. it's hotter. Because yeah, you have to like either go it. really, really, really like hogging the wall. Oh, come on. Or you have to like have a good cycle, basically. I messed up a little bit. Uh, I hate like Boss's Castle is universally known as like the hottest stage in the game, pretty much. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with RNG, like you just saw there, and also like cycles are really annoying to deal with. Oh well. I should have actually saved that. It's not the best spot to use it, but it's not bad either. Maybe if I'm lucky, I get another good item. Since I'm still in second place. Okay, I survived it this time. Damn, it's still a decent item. Ah, tried to sneak in <laughs> in the center. Is there any set way to do that, or is it just like... Is it yeah, I mean, the cycles are always okay, the same. Yeah. Unless if you break one of the thwomps, then it spawns back differently. You can do that with a star. But yeah, this set cycle, but I messed up on the first lap, so it felt weird to me. Oh, those shells. Yeah, but the RNG is also really bad sometimes here. In general, if you're in first place, then there won't be as many bananas on the ground, actually, as in, like, first place. The reason that is is because a lot of the butts are unloaded, so a lot of them won't actually really throw items on the ground. Something like that. They can still do it, but it seems to be, like, way less... I lost all my speed, what the hell? Sometimes that happens, I don't really know when that works. Yeah, Bowser's Castle is... I was 18 seconds ahead of my PB um, in a D-Rust run two days ago, and I lost 15 seconds on this stage and missed a PB by three seconds at the end, so that was pretty funny. Yeah, your PB is nowhere near like what your skill levels are. Uh, right I, have, I have 39.57 in this run. You can, and that was in a race a long time ago, and I lost so much time in the first cup. And what is the world record? The world record is by Abney currently, right? <laughs> uh, hit the reset button. Flipping. So far down. World yeah, Abney has a 38... 49? I could... I think. Insane. Oh, my menu is so bad. Dude, the N64 is so far down that I, I literally have to like split my back in half to, to reach all the way. I should just hit it with my shoe. This level is really laggy. I, oh. well, if you can jog, yeah, jog I, got, I got no item with the boot. Oh. I'm third. Missed the rocket starter, is this called? This is the laggiest level, right? On the yeah. Game. You really want as soon as possible to get a banana on the stage. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> um, because banana or fake item boxes reduce lag. Oh like my. crazy amounts. What is going on? Like. <laughs> Like this, you can tell a big difference right now. It also looks like everything's going faster, but it, it's just because you see more stuff. It just gives like a feeling that it's going faster. But lag-wise, it's also a difference. The game also looks like it's going faster. If yeah. You see down on everything uh, when you do like. See up. Yeah, see up. Yeah, sorry. It's the sumo. Oh, I got a blue shell. That's something I've been asked a lot. Like, do you actually go faster when you see up? Because it looks like it, but you don't actually. It just looks faster. Also, I try to cycle items as much as possible, just in, in case I get like a mushroom, even though I have like the bananas. Because the yeah, odd, odds of getting a lag reduction item is nearly 50% chance, so... Like, if I just wait until the next item boxes here, and then throw that item... Okay, I missed them. The odds of getting a, any lag reduction item is pretty good. <laughs> that was my own green shell, but... I wouldn't really say that I could have dodged that too well. Is this last stage? <laughs> no. That's this castle. Yeah. And after that reset, there's no more. Yeah. I'm pretty nervous for Bowser's Castle on a booth. Uh, yeah, just try... <laughs> Bunch of biting me in the ass. Try your best to not get hit by thwomps and stuff. At least don't get thwomped. Don't get squished. That's like the most important thing. I'll bear that in mind. For like, honestly, I've already DNF'd at this point, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's literally a playthrough now. 
Uh, oh, I jumped over him. So yeah, it's, this is probably my. That was most, really bad for me. Really bad. This is probably my most hated stage on the yeah, uh, game. Yeah, it's. I think. I actually dislike Sherbet Land a lot, but Bowser's Castle is just way more annoying on average. Yeah. yeah. It's so easy to DNF on this just because that bridge, right? You know. Yeah. Like halfway through, it's so easy to fall off that. Dude, my hands are so cold. I just have bad blood circulation. All right, so this is the other stage I was talking about in terms of, like, is this a skip or not? And this is a loud thing I'm about to do, coming up right now. So jumping over this little gap is considered not a skip because you don't jump over a wall, you jump down to a different area that's like below you. Um, and there's also no fence in the way, so people consider it like there's a hole right here and you can drop down. And even casual players, some of them know about this, so it makes sense to allow it. Besides the real, quote unquote, real skip, the big one in this stage is like definitely a skip. How's PC going? First place, go Benny! Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you should be good for the ending, unless if you get really, really bad RNG. Yeah, Flippy, stop it, man. So you're you're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to redo that stage like five, four times. Actually, I usually say that there's no... Like, even if you get fifth place in that stage, you should reset. Um, there's yeah. been a dispute about it, sort of, in the community, but... In terms of, like, counting as a run, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, this that this um, skip that flip we just did now he's talking about. I just yeah. didn't practice right and I never missed it once. <laughs> Are you gonna mash A or um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wing it. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably the Yoshi Valley hairpin hairpin jump, I think, or cut. Twenty-nine? <laughs> what? That was perfect, apparently. I mean I had a mushroom, but Enjoy your leg. Yeah. I didn't even get the rocket start. It's really annoying on that stage. It's because I play LCD. It's just <laughs> you you press it like as soon as the you're light... already used to the lag. Yeah, literally, ah. literally <laughs> as soon as the uh, the second light goes out, that's when you press it for me. For okay. those who don't know, Benny's playing on an LCD right now. I use it for Super Mario 64, so I'm used to it. It wouldn't make a difference if I played CRT for this game, or honestly. Oh, oh it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Dude, Toad hitting me. I hit him. You know, when you're in first place as well, occasionally the red shell comes back and hits you. Why is that? Um, if you shoot it in first place and it doesn't, like, it just goes a full round if you shoot it. And if it doesn't hit any item along the way or any bots, it can hit you again on the next lap. It usually doesn't happen, but it can happen. Oh no. But if you use the mushroom, you have a constant speed. So that's good. Ha! <laughs> I, I jumped on like the first frame I landed from one of the bounces and I got a lot of height. Pretty funny. It actually loses time, but it looks cool. This is definitely one of those games that people don't understand how good you can be at it, right? Yeah. Oh my God. It looks like it's just like, oh, you just do like mini turbos. But it, it can actually be really difficult to do it optimally. Oh, absolutely. As I'm kindly demonstrating. Yeah, I just have Rainbow Road left. I mean, that's five minutes of the stage, but... It's like, what's so wrong I, with the timer? I guess right now. Oh, okay, well. So we have no idea what the timer's like. This should be around a 40 minute reset? Road. Yeah, look at the screen behind you. Well, gonna get a new yeah, 11 minutes so far. It's amazing. <laughs> what, what would you say your time is right now? So I can judge. Like, more. what time pace this is on for? Yeah. Probably like a high 40, maybe mid 40. Oh, wow. It's hard really? to say. I can't really feel it. What is your PB? 44. Not, um, no, he won't. I don't think so. He would have to beat his own PB on top, like, if, if he didn't DNF with that kind of gameplay. I never got all three of these jumps in my PB. I did it once and then got scared, so. Oh, 
I got it. No. Okay. I almost spun out. Got a boo with a boo. What did you say? I'm gonna try it again. I may as well. I got him to lose at this point, right? So. Like, look how Toad is just keeping up with me. That's broken rubber banding. It can happen. I I can actually like since. Oh no! Oh, no. I have this to go is just a marathon run, anyways. So I'll, I'll do something for fun here. Damn! Didn't get a good RNG. I, I could have gotten a star at 1 in 20 chance there. <laughs> would have been worth it. I break there in triple tab A, and if you do it well... Oh, I'm gonna have my nearly... <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you break and then triple tab A, you get your speed back quickly. And if you do it perfectly down that hill, you'll basically stick to the hill all the way down. And it's called a train style, named after the guy that found it. Everything is just called something style in MK64 usually. Um, oh, I never even slid. I didn't <laughs> realize. Well, I got it once, went round once, and fell off once, so yeah, I guess you, that's good. That's okay. At least it didn't fall down three times. That would have been really bad. Oh, wait, is this the last lap? It is, right? And I got three mushrooms, that scares me, because that probably means I'm doing really awful. Okay, I guess. That's about it. This is the optimal spot for Mushroom. Because it's up a hill. This is also one of the very known stages for a skip, right? Oh yeah, Rainbow Road and skips is like less than two minutes long. So... <laughs> on PAL, this... Like, Time Trials is played on PAL. Shoutouts to MarioCard64.com, the Time Trials community of this game. Um, they usually play PAL because they can convert time, so you should, like... NTSC time gets converted to PAL, PAL gets converted to NTSC for reference. So, um... PAL is usually preferred, because it's a little bit easier to do, because it runs the game slower. And this, in time trials, is like a 6 minute plus stage. This stage looks really dark for me. Yeah, I think it's just because the lighting into the screens, we have like light behind us. That's the worst mushroom usage in my life. What's up? Don't. Uh oh. Bowser, Planks? Please. Bowser, please. Planks? Should we just not do time then, since the timer's inaccurate, anyways? Oh, hit the end of this star. What? Oh, yeah. Well, sure. I'll just say time when I'm red and like about to go there, right? It's when I cross the finish line on this left. Ah. Oh. I'm talking to the guy at the tech station, by the way, for stream, who's... I tech is a bike. He's just not using it. Oh, <laughs> wow. The banana into charm. Classic combo. I'm pretty scared right now, because we've got, like, a, a tough part coming up. Oh, and everyone is in front of me, and I've just hit a banana. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, the green shells have like hit detection, so the first time you get hit, it won't work. Um, planks? I'm gonna DNF again. Planks! Time! <laughs> yeah. Nice, good job, Flippy. What I was saying is the green shell, I hope you do well, Benny. Come on, you can make it. No, I'm not gonna survive. Yo, they get don't... a lightning and you're oh. good. Yeah, mesh. Oh, maybe. Nah. No, it's gone. I have to yeah. just... Um, but yeah, the green shell has like, it can hit you immediately after you shoot it. So even if I shoot it into a wall, it won't bounce into me. It's just last lap. Oh, it is. Unless there's any objections, then Yeah, do you want to mercy kill your run, or do you want to continue? Do you want to mercy the end of your run? Do you want to? I want to do this. I think we need to make so we get A bit of extra time. Sorry? Do you need a bit of extra time? No, 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 I mean, do you want to... Mercy just, kill. Mercy kill your... Yeah, I'll do it if you want. Okay. 55 estimate. Because we had, like, a little bit of setup issues as well. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. 
Hope everyone enjoyed, even though obviously Benny probably didn't yeah. enjoy, it, enjoy it as much as everyone else. But uh, we had fun. <laughs> um, next run is... What is the next run? Uh, oh yeah, 100% Luigi's Mansion by Linkus7. So that's going to be coming up in a second.